Welcome back to our channel. We have a uh, bit of an install video today. We're really excited. We just got our Rome case in, the 95 liter. We also got the rugged mounts. It's a little more on the expensive side, but all the research we did, this is perfect for our teardrop. We don't have a rack on the Jeep. So uh, this is gonna be the perfect setup. And we've actually seen one of these 95s on another Timberleaf Pica. So really excited to try out this new storage. One of the biggest reasons we decided on this case, uh, first off, is how durable it is compared to the weight. When the package came, I was surprised how light the case actually is for the size. The lid also has gas struts, which is a huge convenience when you're up high on the trailer. You don't have to hold the lid up while you're trying to find what you need, especially late at night. We also went with the rugged mounts. It's a little extra cost, uh, mainly because these are lockable. So we can lock the case, lock the case to the locking mounts. And these mounts also make it very easy to remove and re-add the case if needed. The uh, mounting bracket actually isn't too intimidating. There's not too much to deal with. Let's have the two plates and uh, a couple of these guys and some carriage bolts. We've waited for this for a long time. She's a beaut. The interior of the case also has the ability to mount a custom molly panel or lid organizer which provides completely customizable mounting and storage options. Nylon rope and molded grip handles make grabbing the case comfortable and ensure there is no slipping. Additionally, the cases have a dust and waterproof gasket seal to make sure your gear is always protected. So since we're going to be mounting it on the roof, I'm just going to remove the handles on both ends. So now I'm gonna measure the bottom. Just make sure I can get the mounts ballpark. I think it's about 45 and a half. All right, so the case is actually gonna fit perfectly between our front and rear rack. And it's the perfect setup for this, this custom rack that Timberleaf puts together. It has the uh, channels here so we can easily slide the carriage bolts in. They also do have a sandwich mount as well if you don't get the, uh, the rugged mounts. And they do say you can mount it just about on any type of rack there is. All right, I'm gonna get these mounts as close as I can. So, uh, slight snag here. The carriage bolts that came with the mounts are a little too big. We actually need a quarter 20T carriage bolt. And uh, yeah, the uh, head is just too wide, so I can't quite get it in the channel. So we'll be right back. I reached out to Timberleaf Trailers and they mentioned a company that has a quarter turn drop-in bolt that can easily be added and removed from the rack. However, to save time and money, I decided to put in a little extra work and see if I could get the existing hardware to fit. After 15 minutes of grinding down the bolts, we were good to go. Let's check the fan. All right, getting her all set here to do a test run. Not quite a perfect fit. We did realize our front and rear crossbars are a little further apart than we need. So we can only get two bolts in each mount right now. 
but later on we may just move the front crossbar back because we do have a lot of options with this timber leaf rack instead of moving the crossbar back we may just end up adding another couple crossbars to the rack to further secure the mounts and to add additional mounting points for future needs the nice thing is Timberleaf already has pre-drilled holes in their custom roof racks, so adding to the rack is a breeze. Also, if you're looking to purchase a Timberleaf trailer, they can customize the rack as much as you need. Dry run here, I think we're good. Got the mounts just all the way in. We have clearance for the fan. All right, got the mount secure. Last step is just putting on the uh, latch mounts. Okay, we are just about there. Have the uh, other end latched. This is a little loose. So you just loosen this nut here. Screw in a little bit more, probably a couple that'll do it. Tighten that guy up. Again, uh, with these mounts, they're lockable on both latches and then also lockable on the lid. So we'll get a couple of uh, high quality locks matched up here. We're good to go. This video is not sponsored by Rome Adventure Company. However, we do have an affiliate link in the description below if you're interested in any of their products. Thank you.